the mysterious figure known as Man in the Mask, showcased on billboards nationwide, has been revealed to be Nana Kwame Bediakon, the Ghanaian entrepreneur and founder of the New Africa Foundation. Dismissing political aspirations, he emphasized his dedication to Africa's development, focusing on humanity and the continent's vast resources. City News' Christopher Kevin Asima reports on the unveiling incident event in Accra in this report read by Hansen Ajiman. The new force movement's arrival was marked by grand billboards promising a new era of leadership. In December of the previous year, the Belgian spokesperson for the new force, Shalima Abusi, was deported by the Ghanaian government of allegations of fraudulent misrepresentation in obtaining her student residence permit. On January 7, the Convention 2024, organized by the New Africa Foundation and set to host prominent speakers like Professor PLO Lumumba and Nigeria's Peter Obi, was abruptly cancelled. After this cancellation, Nana Kwame Bidiakun was disclosed as the leader of the New Force Movement and the Man in the Mask. Expressing his vision for a government-independent middle-income economy, he positioned himself as a new advocate for Ghana and Africa's reconstruction. He emphasizes the need for education, societal change, and upliftment of children. If you are about to find out about this man in the mask, because I never spoke a word, you were looking for me. I didn't tell you whether I am into politics, whether I am an evangelist, whether I am a conventionist or a revolutionist. After this day, you will have to wait for me to share my policies and my visions with you. And if I'm the reason why the country or the government is not happy about these great voices coming to educate not only Ghana, but also Africa, then I take this moment to sacrifice myself, to unveil myself, because I have much respect for these great leaders beside me. It would have taken my own time to tell you that I am. But for this very moment, I am sacrificing myself to let you know that I'm that man. But I'm that man with a good purpose, with a great vision. I have a plan and I have a vision for this nation. The New Africa Foundation expressed deep disappointment at the sudden event cancellation, criticizing the government's decision as the event had received approval in November 2023. Spokesperson for the foundation, Monique Mitchell, highlighted the shock and dismay caused to dignitaries and special guests who had traveled from around the world. All protocols were followed. We obtained a permit to have this event back in November of 2023. To everyone in attendance, we are with you. We are so sorry that you couldn't partake in this event. We had so many special surprises, so many giveaways planned for you, but this will not be the last time you'll be hearing for us. We are so sorry that you waited outside, um, but we were with you in spirit. A shadow speaker at the convention 2024, Dr. Arikana clarified that speaker invitations focused on entrepreneurship, not political endorsements. She stressed the event's primary goal of encouraging African youth and fostering entrepreneurship continent-wide. I never heard the conversation about him being a millionaire. I never had a conversation about him having political ambitions. The time that I've spent with him has been more to do with entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and the possibilities. So for those who are saying we are here to support him, uh, further his political ambitions, that is a damn lie. Certainly, from my interactions with him, 